Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're about to review Queen Charlotte and Bridgerton story. I am super excited. I can't wait to review this with you guys. It's early Thursday morning. Let's do episode one. Peace. All right, guys. Hey, I'm back and we're... <laughs> I don't know what that is. We'll be watching Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. I'm sorry, guys. It's kind of bleaky outside. I have to tap the camera this way to get the natural light. <sighs> anyway, I'll be looking here most of the time, though. So, yeah, but I can't wait to watch this. There are only six episodes. Um, it's Thursday morning, super early, and that's why it's so bleaky outside. But let's get started. All right, let's see what's happening. Because I'm super excited. <laughs> I can't wait to watch this, eh? I know a lot of you are feeling the same way. I don't know why I'm in a hoodie. It's not that hot. It's not that cold today. I should say, maybe I should open my door. Okay, okay, let's start, let's start. Rada. God. Shonda Rhimes, please. Don't. Don't break my heart with this, but also break my heart in a good way. And also, make this amazing i mean coming from kate and anthony to this please make this let's pause please make this amazing coming from kate and anthony to this one before penelope please fingers crossed fingers crossed because i only can be honest guys when it comes to these reviews i can't like lie on this so What is happening? So interested. Is she being sold? What is happening? Are they signing her over to like... What? Is she being sold? Like that's what I'm getting because she looks so pissed off like she's being sold. Is she being sold? She's being sold. She's being sold. Or whatever, when you give someone away. <laughs> I just want you guys to know that the scene that I just saw, like when they pan the camera back, when they pan the camera back and you get to see everything there, it looks so beautiful. Thank God for Shonda Rhimes. Because if she didn't do it, who was going to do this? If she didn't do this, who was going to do this? And how would it have been done? You know, I often wonder this. How do people, like, sit in corsets like that? Like, they just sit down and, like, all that. And I wouldn't survive back then in a corset. I, I, it's not for me. It's not for me. First off. This, even this detox I'm doing right now is not for me, but I gotta be doing it. <laughs> but this whole cinching the waist thing, and then I pass out. I just pass out, man. I just pass out. Whale bone. Whale bone. Whale bone. He's her brother? If you ever paid attention, you would also know that's the problem with whale bone, and that it is rather dead. Also, very, very sharp. And of course, I'm in high fashion, so this corset is quite snug. I cannot. So she's being sold or she's betrothed to the British Empire now. That's why he signed the contract. Okay, I get it. Because for a minute there, I was kind of like, why is she so pissed? Then also we have to remember that remember when Lady Danbury said in one of the like older Bridgerton series She said until a king fell in love with one of us So I think maybe race is still playing a, like a little part right now in everything that's happening Also anybody else out there know if this was actually a book or this was just a spin-off on like um, Bridgerton because it did so well Because she said she's about to herself and get married. That would be me that I'll be like, to the hills, to the hills. <laughs> the king, is he dead? Oh no, 
<laughs> she said, you're lucky my face is a rare jewel. <laughs> Waking me up from my beauty rest. You're lucky my face is a rare jewel. <laughs> Funny as hell. If I could still have people beheaded, I... <laughs> ah, you're lucky. She's funny. Your husband is quite hearty. Who is? Who is? Who is the Princess Royale? Did they have a child? I'm confused. Did the king and queen have a child? And she died? Uh, ah. Oh, it's the granddaughter, it's the granddaughter, it's the granddaughter, it's the granddaughter. Is it me or does Queen Charlotte seem reserved, like really reserved? Like she's, even now, like during the flashback, she seems so, her emotions are really, you know, like, Oh my gosh! Daphne's mom, what's her name? She looks good. The good. What's her name? Lady Bridgerton. She looks good. And Danbury looks good too. This flashback looks good. They look good. They look good out here. Hold on. She has 13 children. 13? How have we not seen any of them in like Bridgerton, like not one, nada. Or maybe that's why they're like basically saying now that she has 13 children because they're about to start introducing them slowly into the Bridgerton series because bruh, why wouldn't a Bridgerton try to scoop up her kids? Her kids would have been like the most eligible people I would think for like the whole ton. Or are they not here, they're somewhere else. And also, who is writing as Lady Whistledown right now? It's not Penelope. Who is writing as Lady Whistledown right now? I'm having a hard time. Who is doing that? Is it that they had like another like gossip monger like the Queen said that's writing as Lady Whistledown right now? Hold on. Is this Lady Stark? Is this Lady Stark? That lady who is walking around um, Queen Charlotte right now? It looks like her, right? Hold up, so Brimsley has been with her forever. Ooh, That's how you know she trusts him. He's so young, they're all so young here. Years of service. So this is what I was saying. Her skin tone is a problem. And I'm glad they're actually, you know, mentioning it and everything. She's a little lighter than me, I think. Or are we the same skin complexion? I don't even know, but I would be a problem. <laughs> Then the king's choice has been most intentional. That they're attacking this and not just sweeping it under the rug. Let's just get it over with because we know stuff was going on back then. Let's not act like we don't. Come on. Hold on now. Is this Lady Danbury laying here like, I don't want to be a part of this? You have to, um, I hope you guys are watching with me because I cannot show this on YouTube at all, but... Is this Lady Danbury here like? <laughs> I do. She looks not amused. Was Lady Danbury's husband older than her or something? Because she looked pretty. With the bride. Oh my gosh, she's an old man. That was a good bride. <gasps> He's taking out his teeth. No, no. <coughs> that was disgusting. But Lady Danbury is a baddie. She's a baddie, but. That was disgusting. <coughs> Is he falling asleep? Jesus. 
Jesus. Is that the surprise? He fell asleep. Let me tell you something. If I was in this position, I'd be happy every single time this man is sleeping. I would be happy every time this man is sleeping. I could not get enough of this man just going to bed and sleep. I'll be like, sleep, baby, sleep every day, every night. Oh, he's always had warning. Not this time. I had no warning because the butler gave me no warning. Really <laughs> I am, I'm sitting here in shock watching this damn show. <laughs> she said, is he ugly? Deformed in some way because, you know, beauty is on the inside. <laughs> It's true, but funny. Is he mentally slow? Ah. I like how they're just like gliding through this. Like it's time for us to, you know, be united as one. But I think what happened is some shipping deal is supposed to happen. And that's the reason why Lady Charlotte We'll get into that. We'll get into that. God, the king looks good. The king looks good. Jesus. What is this? Some sick joke? <laughs> looks good. I am not. She's trying to jump the fence. Why does this remind me of myself? It's just something I would do. Run the hell away. The minute somebody tries to like tie me down into anything, it's <laughs> or control my life in any way, shape, or form, I'm out of here. It's not happening. I'm gone. Young George is getting it. He looks so good. Doesn't he look good? And I like how, um, I like the person they chose. I think the chemistry there between them, it looks good. I like this. Why did Danbury, like, why did Danbury say the pieces fall into place? Isn't that a weird comment to make? Why would she say something like that? And why are these men looking so pissed that she's getting married to the king? Like, she's getting married, so what? Let's move on now. I, uh, well, you know, it's back in the day when all that stuff was happening. Mm-hmm. Ciao. But the king looks good, eh? He's a good man, Savannah. He's a good man. Her wedding dress had on a cape. I bet it did when she saw him. She's like, put a cape on so I can fly up to this altar real quick. Real quick. Get me up here as quick as possible so I can say these vows. Tuh. We ain't wasting no times today. Y'all know I love a happy ending. Oh. Or a happy beginning. <laughs> so like no one had any idea she was black. Hold on, hold on. Did no one have like the slightest idea that she was black, except for like the queen, her brother, maybe Lady Danbury, because she did say something shady about the like the pieces falling into place. Side eye, side eye. But other than that, did no one have like the slightest idea that she was black? <laughs> oh, they're doing the Kate and Anthony dance. Why is the mom constantly looking at that man? And is the 
is that man gonna betray them like in some way shape or form like what is happening or is he just like hold on is the man that the mother like constantly looking at what's going on with them like she's always looking at that man for approval or like a yes or something like is what's going on and now Danbury's looking at the mom the mom is looking at Danbury they're both looking at the son who is the king and where's the king's dad how did he die like we don't know about that but they just swept that under the rug he is out of here it's a good wedding though well it seems to be a good wedding is this Danbury leaving? Is she going to say something to her? They're going to have like a relationship because of this? Take care of your majesty. I pray that you're blessed with children soon. She's looking like, bitch, what are you talking about? <laughs> Kids, where? Her name is Lady Agatha Danbury. I'm to be on your court. What does that even mean? If for some reason, like, I got, like, swooshed back in time, if somebody says to me, like, um, about your court or stuff like that, I'd be looking like, what are you saying, family? Are you supposed to advise me or something? Like, what, what is this? careful mom i told you this is danbury warning her she's saying be careful mom and know that if you send for me i shall come you like i'm here for you 10 toes down and these motherfuckers are planning something and i want you to know that i saw it i seen it yeah and if for any reason at all you feel like you need to run away, hide, or do something that you can't get nobody to do with you, I will do it with you. I have the time. I want to leave my husband. I do not like him. And once you call me, he cannot object. And I am hoping you call me every day so this man can get off of me. Ugh. Leave me alone with stupid surprises. Sing, I'm addicted to your life. I swear I'll never fall again. All right, so he doesn't want to sleep with her. He doesn't want to be with her. Is George gay? Was he forced into this? So many unanswered questions because he just gave her a whole house and that's amazing a whole house for me i'm so happy but i'm not sure i understand you're not gonna stay here with house. me it's in this whole house? house i'm just gonna stay here and he's like i i have an estate in q where the hell is q i'm not even from here where the is q i'm not even from here how am i gonna know where q is how far you are I'm gonna be in this house by myself, which should be some, like, some people would find that like a dream. Live in a huge house, be the queen by myself. You have to do what I want you to do. I guess by myself and enjoy life. But at the same time, it's like, she's attracted to him now. And he bit her and then he just switched up. He bit her and then he switched up. He did the bait and switch on her so quick. Cause she was like, oh my God, like, this man wants to be with me. He doesn't want me to leave. And then all of a sudden he's coming here and he's telling her that he doesn't want this anymore. And he's changing his mind. Oh my God, it's a regular man. Here you are thinking because he's a king, he'll be different. He's a regular man. Bait and switch. Bait and switch on your ASS. Bruh. Isn't that? Bruh. Isn't that like? Damn, George, I almost thought you were born like in 2019 or 20 or 21 <laughs> or 2010. Any of those. I-D-I-O-T-S. Why doesn't he want to sleep with her? I'm confused. Why? 
Oh, they're clapping. Did she do? Why does he want to sleep with her? I want to know. Is George gay? <laughs> Is he gay? Not if you're going to behave. You are angry. What is wrong? What have I done? Whatever it is, I am sorry. There's nothing to be sorry for. I just, I, I want to go to Q. There has to be a reason why he doesn't want to sleep with her. What is the reason? What's the reason? This went from a fairy tale prince to a piece of turd real quickly. Like that. You want to understand, you need to at least tell I do not need to do anything. I decide. I have decided I am your king. Jeez. Why did he yell at her like that? And why is he constantly saying this is for the best? Is it because of her skin tone and people aren't used to it as yet? He himself, he's not used to it as yet. What is this? And Brimsley's looking like, I knew this A-S-S-H-O-L-E was gonna be a D-O-G. I knew it! Brimsley? She's gonna be pissed at Brimsley because she goes, she's gonna be like, I expected you to tell me this. Like he's a piece of S-H-I-T. And you let me have to come here and let him dog me. Be like, don't you ever do that S-H-I-T again. You little B-I-T-C-H. I am fine. Aw, they're still together. I like the flashback. It's it's you know, I like it. Are these all her kids? I like the fact that we're getting introduced to um, Queen Charlotte, um, her kids. Yeah, yeah, 48, yeah. I like the fact that we're getting introduced to her kids. I like this, I like the mixture of them. Like, it's all <laughs> like a swirl. <laughs> it's all a swirl, you see them? So her kids are out here doing the most. They're out here doing the most, the absolute most, and not having a care that they are princes and princesses. They're just out here spreading it low and doing it wide or whatever they call it. <laughs> Dropping it low and spreading it wide. <laughs> Why is she so hard on her kids though? Like even the one that's married, she, she's like, you have made zero heirs to the throne. Like, not everyone's fruitful like she is. And I, there has to be something that happened to us really made the queen this hard. And I said it before, she's cold. There's something about her. She's really, really cold. All right, so that's that. So first take on Bridgerton. Well, at least Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. I like it so far. I think it's very interesting. It's pulling you in as to what is really happening. Why does the prince not want to um, sleep with her? All that good stuff. But before I get to that part, because we, I, at least I do have in the back of my mind that he doesn't want to stay with her based on her skin tone and based on what everybody's going to say. So let's go to something else first, right? trusty little book <laughs> so Brimsley immediately is always with her I appreciate that I love that and especially when they did that scene where they cut to present day and he was still walking behind her when she walked away I just love that I think that cut that cut away was really good I appreciate that a lot um, we get the understanding that um, her skin tone is already a problem from the jump and I think what I'm starting to figure out is that the reason that they want um, her to get married to the king 
is because there's some form of deal that they have brewing under there we're not sure what it is as yet but lady danbury already picked up on it and that's something that we can look out for um one thing that you can see already is lady danbury has always been smart even when she was with her ladies maid is that what you would call her she already was talking like you're supposed to alert me let me know when this man is coming so she can mentally prepare herself for this heavy load that's about to be placed upon her ah and for the life of me, I cannot wait until Lady Danbury and Charlotte are like, Queen Charlotte are like real friends and get together and do stuff together because I feel like when that happens, then she'll be in the headspace to be like, okay, you and I, we're gonna take over this time, okay? But we're gonna do it in a smart way. We're gonna be about it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate them working together on everything. I think it was super cute when she stopped and spoke to um, Queen Charlotte. Um, also, I thought the prince was super cute when he was doing what he was doing, but when she was trying to, well, when she was trying to hop the fence, um, the wall, and he was there like, oh, you're gonna hop the fence and doing that whole cute, charming thing. But then it turns out he was just doing all of that so he could come and be like, you know, we're not doing this. I mean, I mean, we're doing it, but we're not really doing it. Like we're doing it for the public until people could see, but we're not really doing it. The thing that I really wanna know is, is this his character or is he just afraid of what people are gonna say? Like, are you really a ASS, H-O-L-E? Or is it that you're really afraid of what the world is gonna say and people are gonna say in general about the fact that you are in love with a girl that looks this way, you know? Um, yeah so we have to take this brown girl in our family right now because of the shipping deal that we have brewing and even though we don't want her in, in our family there seems to be something that's going on in the british empire where I, why they have to have her in their family you know so it's it's not what we want to do is what we have to do right now and i feel like that's causing a bit of a problem um I don't know when the prince is going or the king is going to fall in love with her, but I think there's going to be a time when he falls in love with her. Um, still, I'm kind of at the space where I'm like, Queen Charlotte is still much, very much giving me. And I don't mean in her younger years. I mean, like when they flash back and you even see her kids and stuff like that, she's still giving me that I'm so guarded feel. And I wonder why she is that way, at least right now. Because there had to have been a point where she fell in love with the, the king and it's all that good stuff and lovey-dovey and so on. So I really want to see what happened there. Um, I, in my head, when Lord Danbury was there for part of the time, he was speaking down to Lady Danbury because first of all, they weren't Lady and Lord Danbury at the time, you know, at the Queen just bestowed that upon them when they got into that, um, the procession, the, the, the wedding. She just told them like, oh yeah, we're gonna have a ton and, um, and let everybody, you're now Lord and you're Lady Danbury. And I feel like Lady Danbury all her life was just being like, God, you opened up the heavens and shined your light upon me. I've wanted this for so long. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why she was suffering with this man on top of her just to get out because she seems like she's smart and she has always been smart. She hasn't been like a crazy loony cookie. She has some thing about her. She has her wits about her, like you would say, you know? And um, I just feel like she's gonna be the one to help um, Lady Charlotte or Queen Charlotte, especially with the fact that she offered it. You know, she picked up on what she picked up on and especially that that man who is always there looking at the queen, giving her the eye like, we gotta keep our eye on these people. Like, you know, he's always giving her that weird look. And I feel like because of that, Danbury picked up and she's just like, you know what, I'm gonna look out for this girl. She don't know what she's got herself into. She's never been around these parts. She don't know what's taking place right now. And I'm about to help her and let her know one, two, three things before she gets herself knocked the over. You know, and I appreciate that with Lady Danbury. I think that was very sweet of her. She didn't have to do it. So the fact that she did, shout out to you, Lady Danbury. That's really cool. All right, next thing. 
Lord Danbury keeps falling asleep. That's the best thing that could happen to Lady Danbury. Like, just stay there and shut up. Sleep and shut up. You know, every time this man falls asleep, I'll be telling everybody in the house, if you make a sound, <laughs> like, don't do it. <laughs> I'll be telling everybody, don't make a sound. You know, I'll be so pissed if somebody, like, just wake him up from one of that, ugh. When he took his teeth out, Let's not go there, they were black. They were black. Did you see that color? I'm glad he wasn't kissing her though. He was just like. I wasn't trying to kiss her, cause. Lord knows, Lord knows. There's a next scene that really broke my heart too. Um, when he said we have to sleep in separate like homes and she's like, but I thought, I thought you liked me. And he became a 21st century man real quick. You know, he just started like, nah, I don't really like you like that. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. That's not, I'm, I'm laughing, but bruh, like why he do to her like that? So that was tough to watch. Um, and he said, um, I have decided I'm your king. It's like, oh wow, sorry, I thought you were my friend. No, I'm your king. You're gonna listen to what I have to say. That was tough to see. Um, yeah, that last scene where she said I should have gone over the wall. Yeah. It's just regrets and mistakes playing all the way over and over in her head again. Anyway, guys, that is my reaction to Bridgerton season. Ah, oh, stop saying season. Bridget, that's my reaction to Queen Charlotte of Bridgerton story. I will be reacting to all the episodes in this season and I cannot wait to see Penelope's story though. To be honest with you, even though I really want to see this, I cannot wait to see Penelope's story like Bridgerton season three officially. But I hope this will give me all the feels. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. If you have anything you'd like to say, please feel free. I don't mind the criticism at all. All right guys, I will see you in the next episode. Peace.